can't get the meter to spin backwards today. Notice the little bar underneath the numbers that moves from the left to the right. This is uh, with the windmill off, indicating that we're pulling power from the grid. Now I'm going to go and turn the wind turbine on. And there's a 30 second delay before it'll start to turn. Okay, the brake is released in the motor. And now we're starting to come up to speed. 10 minute average wind speed right now is 14 miles an hour. starting to turn now. Alright, and we're generating. So let's see what that did to the meter. Zoom out a little bit. Still not quite enough to overcome the uh, load of the house. I suspect that uh, there's a refrigerator or freezer or something running inside. But in combination with the pool pump is probably more than the wind is putting out right now. So uh, I'm gonna go turn the pool pump off. Okay, I've got the pool pump turned off. And now you can see clearly that that bar is moving back to the left. Instead of left to right, it's right to left. That means that we're now producing more power than is being consumed in the house and we're in essence spinning the meter backwards and getting credit for that power on the meter. And here's my monitoring software that uh, shows the startup of the windmill that I just filmed. And I'll zoom in here. You can see that it looks like we've peaked out so far at about 4700 watts. And as you can tell depending upon the wind speed the uh, output fluctuates. And you can further see that by looking at this graph where it shows that uh, the current and the output vary with the wind speed. But it looks like we're pretty consistently putting out between 3,000 and 4,000 watts currently. Pretty cool.